Welcome back, my YouTube family. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well today. And um, yeah, we're bringing you something a little a bit different today. We are bringing you Resident Evil Village, which just released in May. Um, I decided to have a wee look at the demo to see if this is a game that I would enjoy. And I thought I would do something a bit different. So we're actually going to do one part of the demo today and as we walk through i will give you kind of guidance and my experience firsthand because this was basically all the footage you're going to see is just how it it kind of unfolded me trying to figure out how the game works what to do etc um if you're going to get the game and you don't want spoilers then maybe this is not for you this whole um review is based on the demo solely not the full game so if you're looking for a full game uh, review this is not it um and really i haven't played resident evil before so this is a, everything is fairly brand new to me as far as a an immersive gameplay experience so stick around to the end of the the um, video this will be quite a long long video because i'm going to give you the whole part of the demo first part of the demo but stick around to the end because i'll give you my thoughts on the game when we get finished let's do it <laughs> So welcome to Resident Evil Village. Now, we have two options with the demo. The demo strangely only lasts 60 minutes. So regardless of what uh, you choose, um, it will only last 60 minutes. So um, I'm gonna choose the village today. I might interact some of the uh, footage from the castle in this video as we go through. There is one specific thing that I want to show you um, with regard to the um, castle video. Uh, hello? You shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. What the hell? Hey, can you hear me? Uh, it's you. The child's father. Child? Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose! Yes. She is in great danger. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? <sighs> the castle bell heralds danger. They're coming! <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again. <laughs> Rose is here? Okay, so the mad lady of the village. But essentially the story is we're looking for our daughter called Rose. Let's have a wee look around. Ooh, I'm feeling cold already. Ooh, okay, so what's in here? Um, okay. Something kind of sinister going on in here. They're guarding against something. Lots of candles. Ooh, what's this? Chem fluid. Not sure what that's for. It will become apparent later. So yeah, it's a kind of kind of strange way to do the demo. Ooh, lock pick lock. Easy to pick the lock. Never actually figured out how to do that, so um, yeah, we have a look at that a couple of times, but I didn't actually figure out how to do that. Um, yeah, interesting way to do the demo, only restricting to you to 60 minutes. For me, I'm a bit... Uh, I don't think that was a great idea for them to do, but anyway, it is what it is. I will probably try the castle on another account and, and do that mission. If this is uh, if this video is okay, then I will. Uh, and you want to see the second half of it? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'm happy to do the castle um, and bring it to you on the channel. So these wells are something, but I'm not sure what. You can see the yellow tape on them. Um, at this point, I'm just looking around, having a good look around. You can see the the game itself looks absolutely spectacular. Really, really nice. What's this? Um, examine. 
We offered the goats of warding to protect the village and its people from uh, Mother Miranda's wrath. Okay, whatever. Okay. So you got a little map here. Kind of gives you an idea where to go and where you've been. And you can see that's the lockpick on there. Okay, so full disclosure, I haven't, I haven't really played Resident Evil before. Is that open? No, it's locked from the other side. I haven't played Resident Evil games before. I did actually pick up the original Resident Evil uh, game recently on Xbox. It was free on Xbox or something. Played about, I would say, about 10 or 15 minutes of it. Just could not get the controls to work for me. There's something in there, but we can't get in. Um, couldn't get the controls to work for me. It was just the weirdest controls I've ever seen. Ooh. Now, we've got to go and find items to go in there. So you can see with anything that needs an additional item, you'll get this little screen here. I guess there this leads to the castle. So that leads to the castle. Okay. Um, yeah, couldn't get the controls to work on that, that original... Um, game I, I don't know why they were just anyway so i just yeah i got a bit frustrated and gave up to be honest okay can we open this it, it also needs some kind of key item that we don't have so we're gonna go and have have to have a look around you think you could just slide slide that boat across but anyway um so yeah, I uh, apologise for you Resident Evil fans that probably know a lot more than I do about how the game plays and what to expect. Um, I'm going to make this game assessment based on my, just my experience in this demo. So um, sometimes demos can give you a very good window into um, ooh, the church. What's that thing? Maiden's Crest. Now, that will come into play a little bit later. And you'll see where that goes later. Now, we got... Oh, what have we got? We've got a handgun and a knife. Ooh. So, you get, there's some crafting. So you make med kits. And that is a key item. Now, you've seen where the kind of key items come up when they're wanted. And we get... And treasure also. So... Okay, cool. So, yeah, sometimes the demos... Um, Sometimes the demos are good at giving you a, a good snapshot of a game. Other times they're not. A, so, yeah, um, if you watched my Outriders game review, you'll know that I wasn't fully impressed by that demo because it felt like a beta, not a demo. So this demo is very crisp, very clean. I do have a few glitchy issues. Um, when I first started up the demo, it, it did crash on me or freeze on me and you'll see later in this playthrough it does actually freeze on me but apart from that uh, not too bad and I'm sure it'll have a day one patch I mean it's out already so I'm sure it had a day one patch to fix some of these kind of things Ooh, who's that? some lady but you know everything is pretty stock standard everything kind of works um, as you would expect uh, the, the, some of the controls are a bit, yeah, take a bit of getting used to, but I don't think it's, uh, that doesn't detract for the way the game plays. Um, there aren't a heck of a lot of clues to what you're supposed to be doing, so it does encourage you to explore, you know, flower attacks. So that gives you a, a cover, a, a cloud cover of some kind. If you, what was that? If you get attacked, um, Oh, shotgun time. Oh, yeah. The, the M1897. Okay. Has it got any bullets in it? Um, oh, here we go. The bullets in it. Uh, okay. Selecting the guns and weapons is very easy. You use your D-pad. I do like that a lot. Um, you can craft bullets, I'm suggesting, because i got a heck of a lot of gunpowder during the playthrough. Yep, there you go. Handgun, ammo, or, you know, I guess as you go through the game, that's going to fill up and you're going to be able to craft a whole lot of things. Love that about the game. Um, really do, that's really a, a nice little thing. And I guess, um, given that ammunition is fairly scarce in this game, at least for the demo, um, 
yeah, you're going to need that. What the heck? You see, I don't know. I don't get what that is. Hold, why I'm holding... Oh, maybe you're supposed to... Maybe you're supposed to hide in there and pull that across the door. Maybe that's what that's for. And unfortunately, I didn't get that. I didn't get that email. Um, now, something that I'm not used to, and it's this kind of... The way they... Don't do that. You wasted a... Oh, no, that's not good. Reload. You wasted a pellet, which is just not good because there's not a lot of pellets. And you jump over a fence. Cool. What's this? Rusted scraps. Obviously, that's crafting materials. What's this one? Shotgun, 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 shotgun things. Ammo is what I meant. There we go. So maybe that other one was handgun ammo. Um, there are bad things here. I can hear them. <gasps> So it's interesting how they've passed this. They lead you to you lead you through a certain way. Um, yeah, the, the way that the guns are in this game, and the way they aim in, always make sure you're breaking things because you'll find things in there. See, there was gunpowder there. That looked like it auto selected it as I walked over it. What can I hear? Oh, I. Should, Got a feeling I should. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's a bad thing. Oh, that didn't kill him. That did. Oh, 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 get off me. I have no more. See, I've got no more bullets. I'm empty. Handgun time. Yeah. Now, the. Uh, at this point, this pistol is extremely weak, but I will show you once we get through this part of. The the um, playthrough. Ow! Ah! Oh, that hurt. Um, I'll show you where you can go to um, upgrade your gun or upgrade your weapons. See, good aim for their heads. I should know that. I've played plenty of zombies over the years. But yeah, this. You see, once you get them in the head, it sort of sorts them out. Um, I think I ran out of bullets here. It's just a flesh wound. See, I'm getting pushed back a fair way. See, if you get them in the head, it kills them pretty easy. Now, I wanted to test out all the... Everything that I had at my disposal. Oh, ow, 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 ow. ow, ow. So I've got no bu more bullets left, so... Oh, I macheted them now. The machete isn't too strong. Like, oh, 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 oh. This gives you a good little um, view of how... The health restore works, how the machete works, how the, all the weapons we get early work. See, I'm slashing them, but it doesn't seem to be doing... Oh, oh, get off me, hand dog. You can't have dinner yet, it's not time. Get off me. Oh, oh. I'm sure I'm infected by now. I should be infected by now. Fend. You can actually. Ooh, picked up some herbs. There you go. I've got to craft a med kit. I haven't got time to craft a med kit. Oh, oh, he got me again. Can't craft a med kit there. There you go. Get off me. Oh, I need to craft a med kit. Quick. I don't want money. Jeez. I... What's that? What's that, gunpowder? That's no use. Oh, oh! Typical me looting. Oh, you just die already. You did. Thank goodness for that. Now, to heal up, um, well, I've got to craft a, a med kit. Otherwise, I'm going to be making this noise. So I'm going to cut in a second. I'll show you how to make the med kit and then we're going to cut over to um, the shop in the castle because I want to explain something about that. So crafting. There we go. Med kit. There you go. Use. Okay, so we'll, let's get over to the shop and I want to show you a few things. So walking through the castle, you're going to eventually come to the, the a particular room in the castle and the, you're going to get into some dialect, which we'll listen to now. Oh, we meet again. Duke, why are you here? 
where there's coin to be made. <clears throat> and have you found your daughter? No. If she is truly here, the lady of the castle would have kept little Rose in her private chambers, would she not? Dalmitresk? The very same. Why don't you take a look? Maybe you'll get lucky. And speaking of looking, care to make a purchase? So Duke has a shop. Oh, so I'm yeah. sure this guy's from a previous um, episode. I've procured some new items for you, Mr. So here's Winters. where you can upgrade your weapons. You can actually upgrade your weapons here. You see the power, fire rate, reload speed, etc. Um, so we can buy ammo, which is kind of nice. I'm skilled and, all and all kinds of, of supplies, so we'll quite a nice little addition to the game. Um, I wonder how many of these shops there will be in the game. I'm not quite sure how big the map is or anything true, given the demo, but um, yeah, you can see really nice addition, and especially when uh, you know you, you can see you can upgrade all your weapons, which is kind of nice. <laughs> Um, this is the reason I just bought the shotgun is when you get He's the demo for the castle, you actually don't get the shotgun. So, okay, let's get back to the village. Okay, onward with the journey now. I will chop some of this out because some of this was a lot. I was just wandering around exploring stuff, so um, and trying to figure out how the game works and all that good stuff. So I may well cut some of this out. It will be a fairly long demo because I want to give you the full experience of running through. <coughs> at least the village demo, excuse me, um, and so that you get a feel for it. Obviously, if you want to download it and play it, you can do that. It was only around about nine and a half gig demo for Xbox, so it's not huge in comparison to some of the games we've played in the past. Okay, I'm just going to be quiet for a second because we're about to meet some people. Close the door, please. What are you doing here? Stay back. Oh. Please, don't hurt us. Whoa. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just glad to see normal people at last. Have you seen any other survivors? No. They're all in Louise's house. And she's not answering and the gate is locked. Quiet girl. He's an outsider. Shit, we're sitting ducks in here. Can your old man walk? No. One of the monsters cut him. He's lost a lot of blood. We have to get into Louise's Shh, house. Quiet. Must be a way inside. Stay here. Be quiet. Don't move until I get those gates open. Okay, so we got to get to Louisa's house, because that's where the party is. Um, yeah. Uh, that sounds like a smoker's cough, but anyway, is there anything to find in here? Okay, so we're going out the window. Now, always break these crates with the yellow on. It's going to give you... We, I've probably said this already, but it's probably going to give you supplies. Supplies! That has got to do something, but I thought it, there was an indicator there for the well. I saw it there. I didn't see it in the original demo, I've got to tell you. Um, I would think you're going to need some kind of handle or something to be able to activate them. So we can't go that way. Um, I guess we're going up and over the wall then, eh? Yep. Oh, what's that? Gunpowder? Oh. Yep. And up and over that. Takes me forever to figure out what's going on here, so I'm going to cut forward now until we get to the solution, because I'm in this area for quite a bit of time, let me tell you. So I've literally been walking around here for about five five minutes trying to find out what the heck happened. You can go in the toilet if you like. There's nothing much to see in here. Um, trying to break stuff. Can't quite figure out what's going on. And of course, the salute. I'm overthinking it, as usual. If you watch the channel on a regular basis, people, you know that I overthink puzzles at times. Um, in fact, the thing is very simple, so I'm getting quite frustrated at this point. I can't jump up on anything. I'm trying to tried everything I can think of and of course um, we can't get in that little red glowy thing just quite yet and um, yeah I just need to walk over and open the gate really that's all I needed to do 
This way. Come on, it's clear. Uh, hurry, hurry. Uh, took your time. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Sorry. You, you haven't won't. watched my channel before, have you? Here we go. Safety first. He's not used to relying on other people. I'm sorry. That's okay. We'll be safe in here. Yes. Won't we? Safer here than out there, that's for sure. Hey, do you know anything about what's going on around here? It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. Nobody's answer. Father? <laughs> we have I know, to he's not time. looking very well, is he? Just hold on a bit longer, Papa. Um, yeah, see, again, I'm back in that. I'm back in the, the loop. Go to the door, G4. There's so much blood. Go to the door. Okay, thank you. Hello? Anybody home? Maybe a familiar voice. Louisa! Open up, it's me, Elena! Okay, Elena. Stop shouting. You'll draw the monsters. Julian, calm down. Who's this? Relax, buddy. <laughs> it's G4. Mother, for God's sake, Julian, let us in. No, no, they'll smell the blood. You'll endanger us all. My father will die out here. But that's not my problem. What's going on? These people want to let a dying man into our home. Come now. These people are our friends. Go on. Go inside. Come now. This way. You're not from this village. Uh, no. I'm Ethan. Yulian, go make yourself useful and check the grounds. I said go! Ooh, that is, you were told, Lulian. See, my Nice heart, dude. Well, if Elena trusts you, then so do I. Come inside, Ethan. Thank you, Louisa. Wait here. Interesting transition how the how from outside to inside how everything kind of got bright all of a sudden. But anywho, what does this say? Examine. They broke it in again, got more livestock. I don't think we'll make it through the winter. Ernest is still missing too. We can't find him anywhere. Okay, who's Ernest? And there's a whole heap of photos here, which we'll flick through, but I really don't understand what it's there for other than to show you pictures of the village this way. I'm just looking at the photo book first, and I'll be there with you in a minute, Louisa. Thank you. Okay. Just have a good look around. That is. It is my um, nature to look for loot. Reminds me a lot of Metro Exodus, actually, the way that the, the villages and whatnot. Oh, this is where the party the is. What the fuck is this? Outsiders, you're gonna get us all killed. Christ, Anton. He helped Leonardo and Elena. We were doing fine by ourselves. Please, Ethan, take a seat. Is this all that's left? From your entire village? All that's left. All that's left? There is no one left! A worthless invalid? A stupid, wailing bitch! This guy needs you, punched. You drag a bloody man and an outsider in here like it's nothing? And expect to be all safe? There is no safe! Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half. Tomorrow? Tomorrow we'll all be dead. Just like her damn husband. <laughs> Put a sock in it, Roxana! That's enough! This house has protected my family for generations. And drunk or not, you are all welcome and safe in here. Whatever. Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? We don't know. 
One day we were a quiet, devout village, and the next, the monsters came and attacked us. And they, they kept coming. Wait, Louisa, and... where is your husband? Did they? No. N no, he, he is out there. Now we got to find Somewhere. Ernest. He, he went to get help. Yes, yes, that's, that's it. He, he went to fetch help. Let us pray for him, for all of us. Good idea. Come, gather. Great ones, hear our voice. Together as one in reverence, we call on thee within the endless dark to deliver us into fate's hands. As the midnight moon rises on black wings, so we make our sacrifice and await the light at the end. In life and in death, we give you glory, Mother Miranda. Oh, cow, cow. Feels like a no. cow. The tea should be ready. Oh, I'm, not, Elaine, I'm a bit nervous about that prayer. I've heard it before. There was an old woman. Oh, you made a mad woman. <laughs> this is oh, where it got a bit glitchy. Bag of rats. There is wisdom in her devotion, though. And I hope it protected her as it shall protect us. <laughs> oh, what the hell? What the fuck are you doing? Leonardo, oh, Papa! No, Papa! Oh! What's, what's wrong, Papa? Oh, he set the house on fire. Papa! Oh! Oh, no, I kind of... I kind of like Louisa. Oh, hey, get off me! And, oh, Papa! Elena, get out of here, man. Come on, we're leaving. Oh, the hoose is on fire. Oh, no! Oh, he's a bit hungry. Hasn't eaten for a while. Oh, no, let's get it. Oh, he's coming for us. If only I had a shotgun with bullets in it. Oh, 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 oh! He's immune to bullets too, apparently. Nom, 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 nom. Let him go! Did you just shoot him, Helena? What have you got? Shot? Where did you get the shotgun from? Have you got any bullets? I said no. Oh, Papa. Papa! Oh my god. Don't drop I'm the so gun, sorry, you might need it. Hey, hey, that wasn't your father anymore. You did the right thing. <laughs> Elena, Elena, no! There's nothing you can do! Papa! This entire place is collapsing! No. Okay, um, shut the door. That'll keep the fire out for a while. Um, you couldn't save him, he was already gone. Leave me alone! No, we're getting out of here. Trust, uh, trust him, Elena. It's Ethan. Okay, so there's a truck there. Let's see. What here. do we? Can we get in? Not? Can we drive it? No, we can't get in. Um, let's have a good look around. There must be something to do. Can't get in. No. Okay, we're at, we're in a kind of basement garage. Whatever you call it in your little world. Um, there's got to be something to find in here. Uh, can't go that way. Ooh, the kitchen. It's well stocked too. Uh, oh, hang on. Nothing in door number one. Oh, hang on. Nothing in door number two. Can we... Can we... Go down? No. Oh, cupboard. Oh, what's that? Oh, just money. Oh, there's a note. Somebody left us a note. Take the screwdriver out the key ring. If you need it. Oh, okay, the little clue there. Oh, keys. Yay! Now, it, it took me a while to figure out how to activate this and once I activate it I have no idea how I did it so anyway we I kept looking at it and resetting it and doing all kinds of stuff and couldn't couldn't figure out how to, to work it so and then I couldn't get out the screen 
which is a bit annoying. Eventually you're going to get that exam button though, you just unclick that and pull the screwdriver out. So luckily for you, through the power of um, video editing, you didn't have to go through all the pain of me trying to figure out how that works. But it's one of those things as you go through the game, you'll get come to something like that and it'll show you, it's a kind of like a demo, it'll show you how to use it. And then once you've done it once, you kind of sort of get the idea. So Damn, the fire's moving fast. <sighs> <coughs> we got a truck key. That'll work in a truck. <clears throat> How's he going to get it out of here? Actually, how did he get it what in here? To start back. with, we can bust out with this. Apologise now, G4 driving. If you've been with the channel a while, you know this is not going to be good. But you sort of allowed to do it, so that's that's my story. Hit the gas. Oh, that's good. I, I hope he's got his seatbelt on. Oh. Oh, mate, you've had it five minutes. He broke it. Ethan, are you all right? I'm, I'm yeah, I've been better. Let me back up again. Been better. The fire. There isn't any time. <laughs> Go, but up. up we go then. Up, up on the hood there. Hurry. Let's go, Elena. Let's move. Don't worry. And try not to breathe in the smoke. I know. Thank you, Ethan. <coughs> you're kind. I hope your family is safe. Can't get out that way. Once we get out of here, maybe you'll get to meet them. So you can actually run up there, right? but it takes me a while to figure that out. No, you can't. No, you can't do that. You go up the ramp there. Anyway. Oh, good. Like with any game, it's you just got to eliminate the kind of um, possibilities. You'll eventually get to it. I'm just a bit of a slow learner. I just like hitting things. But eventually, eventually it'll kind of click. Kitting, the penny's dropped. Oh, there's a ramp there. Can I get up there? Oh, yes, I can. Fantastic. Oh, oh. Jeez. Come on. It'll hold. It's not exactly structurally sound, is it? Okay, Elena. We're going out the there. window. That's our way out. Oh, thank God. But what then? The village is still full of monsters. Do you think so? We can't fight them. There's too many. Hey, hey, don't talk like that. We'll find a safe house to put you in until I can find my daughter. My hunch is she's in that old castle. No, that place is full of nothing but blood and death. And I don't want to be alone while you're... Father? This guy just won't die. Elena, no. Papa. That's not him. Not anymore. He said my name. You can't Can save him, Elena. Oh, no, 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 no. Come back, Ale No, not Elena. I like Elena. Come on. Grab my arm. Come on. Give me your hand. Ethan, go. Save your daughter. Elena, don't give up. Oh, no. This is not good. I like Louisa, she's gone. I like Delena, she's gone. It's shh, this is Why is everyone dying? I, I'm wondering the same thing, Ethan. You're a bit of a jinx, dude. This is This is just too much. It certainly is, so. Um, do you want to leave before the whole place burns down, maybe, bud? Okay, cool. Is there anything to find before we leave? I just because I suspect we're not coming back here. Don't go to the castle, she told you. It's full of blood and stuff. This place is going mad. You're not wrong, Matt. Why the fuck is this hey happening now. again? That's a bit strong. <sighs> Shit. A little bit overacting me. <laughs> 
Okay. We tried to get up here before and we couldn't. I can see why. It's a drop down. Okay. So, we picked up a screwdriver. It was with the keys. We can use it to fix this up. Look, screwdriver. Cool. Because we sort of need what's in here. Now, oh, look at that. Puzzle time. I'm sure the puzzles will get harder. So, open the castle gates and we're done. Unlock. Here we go. Who's there? Oh, stop! Mother Miranda! Hey. Oh, what the heck? It's a grim reaper. Who, who was... It, what was it's that? Mother Miranda, Ethan. Oh, the bells are tolling. That's never good. I've got no... Oh, I've got, I've got two bullets for the shotgun. He hasn't got anything to loot. Didn't really like him anyway, so anywho. Where's his shotgun gone though? Anyway, that's smart. Down the hill we go. So stick around for the end of the video. I will give my thoughts on this game right at the end of this. Um, if you're still here, thanks for staying with it. You can see I'm nervous because I'm crouch walking. <laughs> okay. Um, where to go? Where the heck are... We're in a corner. Um, maybe we'll go back this way. It is, as I say, it is pretty linear, so it's not too hard to figure out where to go. Oh, is that the old lady that lived yeah. in a shoe? Yes. I thought it was Mother Miranda. Death has visited them all. Jeez, you're cheery. <laughs> she needs a Snickers bar. It's truly, she needs a Snickers bar. That's my story. Okay. Let's head this way. Can we open those? Ah, the gates to the castle. So this is the kind of... You've picked up some parts during uh, the demo in the villi village. And um, here's where they fit. So, Demon Crest first. What you have to do is you have to rotate it until it kind of fits properly. Which took me a couple of seconds to try and figure out, so... There you go, you can see it just slots in like that. It reveals a face. Okay. And then the Maiden Crest goes in there. And yeah, just keep rotating it around. It does fit. Just keep rotating it around until the picture becomes clear. Keep going. Keep going. Whoa, whoa, there you go. She's a winner. Opens the gate. So that is the end of the demo, guys. I'll wrap up and give my thoughts on this. And um, we'll finish the demo. Okay, so what's my thoughts on the demo and how it played? I've got to put my glasses on because I've got no one. I can't see them if I don't put my glasses on. Here we go, got glasses on. I look more intelligent now. Um, graphically, this game is quite stunning. It looks great, as I said, in, as I say, through the demo and through the video. It reminds me a lot of kind of uh, Metro Exodus in some ways, the village part at least. Um it's got a very strong storyline. The storyline's good and nice to follow. Although I've got to say, there's I don't know quite. I can't can't quite put my finger on why, but I couldn't get fully immersed into the game for some reason. Um, maybe it's because it's just very early on in the storyline, um, and you're only really getting a snapshot. For the most part, the controls are pretty straightforward and easy to follow, and Everything kind of makes sense and where it, it is where it should be on the controller. Um, although, you know, the, a climb or jump button would be good. But apart from that, um, I haven't got too many qualms about, um, about the controls and the way that's all set up. The game completely um, encourages you to look around and do exploration, which I like. I like that in these type of games. Um, 
the characters or the NPCs are uh, very believable. They kind of do suck you in. A little bit on the, the negative, um, it was at times it was hard, especially and you, you didn't see the castle demo in in this playthrough. But I got to a point in the castle and I just could not figure out what to do next. And and there was a lot of times in the village where the same thing happened, and it took me a while to figure things out. So sometimes things aren't totally clear. I guess that's part of the game and part of the exploration process, but. It got to the point where we were just completely frustrated and probably needed to to get a, a hint or a or some kind of help to move the game forward. Um, especially in the castle, it was just I got to a point where I was like, I just don't know where where to go and what to do next. Luckily, the sixty minutes <laughs> finished and I couldn't I couldn't do anything anyway. Um, there's not a lot of ammo for your guns. Um, I guess that's part of the Resident Evil. Uh, series and part of playing the game but maybe just a little bit more um, ammo the way that the guns are third party and the way the aiming is and stuff that kind of takes a bit getting used to um, I mean I've played the Division which Division 2 and Division which has the same kind of thing but uh, yeah, this just the uh, the aiming and the way the guns handle in that third part it was just a little bit off for me although I'm sure if I play the game more I'll, I'll get used to it um, and that's about it guys would I buy the game I came out of the demo going I'm not sure if I'd buy the game or not to be honest um, I'm kind of 50-50 do I buy it? It, it it is a little bit compelling but at the same time it's not really anything I haven't seen with other games in the past so yeah I'm kind of on the fence so I'm probably going to uh, watch some more playthroughs and just get a feel for how the game works a little bit further down the track and then make a decision so thanks for joining us guys, it has been a long video, thanks for sticking with us to the end if you're still here, if you've fallen asleep I can fully understand it. Um, like rating is always appreciated, it really does help the channel grow. Thanks for being a fantastic community and we'll catch you next time on Gaming for XP. See ya!